I was reading an article last night about um, measuring the performance of your engines, and they had suggested that if you put an ammeter in um, series with your output power, um, you can measure the the draw of the engine. Uh, the idea is to make sure it's not too high and that you're you have a lot of friction or um, uh, unnecessary load on the engine. So I hooked up my uh, an ammeter that I found and uh, thought I'd show you how that works. The, so the red wire comes out of the transformer and goes into the ammeter. The black wire comes out of the ammeter and goes to the track. So it, all the current goes through here, but we're only taking a little bit off to measure the amps. It's measured in such a way. So when we fire it up, you see that it, it has a peak. It jumps up to two. It's called the start draw or starting amps. But the operating amps are 1.3, 1.4, which are very, very good. So the engine's health is quite good, um, but it does have a peak draw of two. And what, what that indicates is um, there are some of these controllers you can replace show you a few things while I've got it on my mind. This is the mechanical reverse unit that's inside here and it uses drums and fingers. And when you see people talk about, I replaced the fingers, it's those thin brass looking pieces inside there that wear out and they rub on a drum and you replace it. And this thing works by like a ratcheting device that allows this, uh, this wheel inside to rotate and then um, it changes the positioning uh, uh, on the fingers and then that gives you uh, current going in different directions um, but it this thing is sometimes problematic it can hang it sticks it's mechanical so it can wear out then there's some digital devices that do the same function uh, electronically and here's one this is a, a PC board that is intended to replace the function of that reverse unit and as you can see it's a lot smaller you stick it down with the tape uh, sticky tape and then you wire it in and it provides you the reverse function uh, in a digital way and then another one another one that I just found is a different manufacturer of, uh, of a reverse board um, which is also digital different shapes but basically the same thing and you don't uh, you don't have the sticky uh, wearing out uh, they're they're pretty reliable um, but in these boards you can get different styles and sizes and most of these have a maximum of two amps and that's the concern you got to be aware of what you're getting um, it, they can handle the two for the start uh, but if you're operating at two amps continuously then they start to get mad and, and may overheat um, and if they get too hot they can actually burn out a component so that's the concern when you use and, and, and that's the reason for me putting the meter on my test stand here when I do my testing I like to know uh, I wanted always to know what what was the amp draw and is the engine running as good as it can I almost bet you uh, some of my engines will be running upwards of two just because of inefficiencies and I haven't quite got the motor repaired fully. But that's just another point I thought I'd share with you and uh, something interesting. Get to watch a, a meter go, that's kind of fun. All right, later.